It's Ray Collins on the Coon Key Bridge. I'm going to turn this camera around right now and let you see what we're seeing here. There is the box truck being lifted out of the Sarasota Bay, a Ferguson's truck, which handles plumbing supplies. It was about 20% full, we're told, when the truck went over the side of the bridge about 10 o'clock this morning. The driver was not injured. He was taken to Sarasota Memorial Hospital. Not injured, cited though for careless driving. As you can see right now, the lanes to St. Armand Circle are closed in the westbound direction. You can get through in the eastbound lane. It is being shared right now. I'll show you briefly and then get back to the truck. There's the Ferguson's truck being lifted out of Sarasota Bay. This required two large tow trucks to come in and uh, remove this truck. And that in itself required approval from the Florida Department of Transportation to make sure that that relatively old bridge is strong enough to carry two large tow trucks at the same time. Again, if you're joining us now, the driver was not injured, went off the side of the bridge at 10 o'clock this morning. No word yet as to what happened. He has yet to say he's from Sarasota, we understand. No name. Now, Ferguson's, there's a local office we see on 17th Street. They've got several branches around the Gulf Coast of Florida. Sarasota police on the scene, Sarasota County Fire, FDOT. And traffic has been a bit of a nightmare throughout the day since this happened at 10 o'clock this morning. Police expect this to continue until about 7 o'clock this evening, so avoid this area. Or if you must get on Longboat Key, go to the north and take the Cortez Bridge or State Road 64. There was some gas, they believe, that might have seeped out, and there are some white uh, foam barriers to, to keep that contained, they say. So not a big issue there. Again, driver not injured. No word yet as to why he might have gone off the side of the bridge. Cited for careless driving. Traffic backed up on the... Uh, Eastbound lanes as each direction shares a lane. Back to the truck now. It'll be lifted up on to the road from where it came. This is the same area where construction tied up traffic earlier in the year. The big question tomorrow is, will this have caused some damage to require them to start all over again? Because the rail is knocked out, of course, where the truck went through. I wish I could light this better for you, but the sun is directly behind the truck setting over the Gulf, of course, and therefore we can't light this up any better. It might just be a silhouette as it appears on my cell phone camera right now. We will have a live update, of course, at 5 o'clock at the top of the hour on ABC7 and updates throughout the evening. apologize for the camera shake. I'm simultaneously working the ABC7 video camera as well as my cell phone here, so bear with me. This is all live TV. And there goes the truck about to fall onto all fours. The driver is okay. No injuries. Cited for careless driving. No word yet as to why. He went off the side. Driver is not injured. And a single vehicle accident. No word yet as to why it happened. Quick shot of the uh, scene here. Traffic uh, in split in both directions, eastbound and westbound. There you see a bit of the backup right now coming across the Ringling Causeway. You want to avoid this area if you can.
So one last time before we sign off and, and, and switch over to TV at 5 o'clock. This happened at 10 o'clock this morning. A driver going across the Coon Key Bridge, which is the smaller bridge just beyond the Ringling Causeway as you head towards St. Armand's. For some reason, we don't know yet why, he went off the bridge, broke through the rail into the water, was able to be uh, brought to safety and taken to Saracen Memorial Hospital without incident, charged with careless driving, traffic backed up in both directions. You can get through westbound to St. Armand's, but we would suggest, if you can, help it, avoid the area or go to the north and take uh, State Road 64 across or Cortez, Cortez Bridge, in order to get to Longboat Key. For now, this is Ray Collins, and we'll see you on the TV at 5 o'clock.